Grace and peace be multiplied unto you. I welcome you to today's lesson on plants life cycle. So basically when we talk about our life cycle it is a series of stages through which an organism passes from the start of life to its death. So it's the beginning of life, the series of stages or what happens to an organism from the beginning of its life to its death. So this time around we are looking at the plant's life cycle or the life cycle of a plant. The plant as any living organism have a change or has changes that happen during their life and this is what we call the stages of life cycle. So a simple picture, the picture below gives us an example or shows us in summary how the life cycle of a beans plant is going to look this so from the seed form germination form when it starts germination and it becomes a plant okay so the first stage for the life cycle of a plant mostly is a seed stage the seed stage and the seeds needs to be watered, needs to have adequate amount of sunlight, needs to grow in enough space for it to grow well. And this is a state, this is a very uh, important state because when it doesn't take in enough water, it's not going to germinate well. And if, it do, if enough sunlight doesn't reach it too, it's not going to grow well. So after the seed stage we move on to the seedling stage and this is when the leaves and roots and stems starts to grow. This is the beginning. So at this point it also needs the basic materials needed for plant growth, sunlight, water, space, carbon dioxide and etc. So this is the seedling stage. And then it goes on to the adult stage, adult plants, where flowering occurs. And you know when flowers come into play, we have pollination. You can't forget about pollination. Pollination. So then pollination is going to lead to the plants being fertilized to produce what fruits so once the flowering begins you are thinking about fruits coming up fruits coming up and so this is a, an adult plant so from the seedling stage move on to the adult plants the adult plant mostly you should find flowers and when you find flowers one thing that should come into mind is pollination when pollination comes into mind, another thing that should come into mind is fruits. So that is what we have here. So the flower produces fruits. It produces fruits. And once fruits also come into play, another thing that should come into mind is seeds. Seeds come into play. Seeds. Seeds come into play. So... yes so seeds come into play and seeds is the fifth one and when seeds come into play another thing that comes into mind is dispersal so the seeds needs to be dispersed or scattered so that they can also germinate the seeds can also germinate so dispersal needs to come in and all these things have a time frame in which they act or it occurs this stage occurs so at the end of it all the plant dies let's look at the life cycle of a beans plant okay so let's take um, an example of the life cycle of a beans plant and this is what happens so the life cycle of a bean plant 
so some plants do not have fruits that the seed goes in but they have a pod called a bean so for a bean plant it has a pod in which the seeds are are in and when the pod breaks open the seeds come out and when the seeds fall on the soil they start growing a bean is a part of the plant that holds the seed a bean is a part of the plant that holds the seed a bean pod is a part of the plant that holds the seed so there are many different kinds of bean plants but they all grow in similar way stage one the bean seed is covered in a hard outer shell when the water is added to the seed so you realize that watering is a very important aspect when it comes to germination of seeds so stage two it swells and the seed bursts open it swells and the seed bursts open and then this is what we call we, we, the shoots and the roots so first of all the shoots comes up the roots comes out first the roots comes out roots comes out and then later on the shoots also comes out the shoots also comes out so this is the roots and that's the shoots so the shoots will come out after the roots comes because the roots are supposed to give support to the plant so it needs to come first then stage three as the roots grow the stem will also appear and the bean uses the food in the seed to grow so like i was saying this is the roots this is the roots and that is the shoots the shoot and the seed hosts food for the plants so as the plant grow and the seed is breaking open it supplies food to the plant or nutrients to the plant for it to grow together with sunlight okay stage four leaves will grow on the stem and straight towards the light so the leaves usually grow towards the direction of the light in order to absorb more sunlight because sunlight is very important without sunlight plants wouldn't grow so the leaves move to the direction of the sunlight and the bean seed is the part of the the bean seed is a part of the plant that is eaten peas and lima beans are bean seed so when the plants grow it's also going to have the bean pod and you can see here that this is the pod and that is where this is where the seeds are going to be that is the leaf and the roots so beans doesn't have a fruit but it has a pod which hosts the seeds okay all right so this is the life cycle of a bean plant i have given an assignment and i hope this will guide you on how to present your assignment if possible you can put in the duration of or the time so research and find out the life cycle of any plant apart from the bean plant okay so I hope this video helps you answer the question I've sent to you. Until our next lesson, stay safe. Bye-bye.